Well, a new video now showing the heart-wrenching aftermath of a deadly plane crash that killed three people here, including a little eight-year-old girl. 19 investigator Gabby Hart walks us through the newly released footage. So the images that we're about to show you are difficult to see, but they do speak volumes about the tragedy that unfolded just three weeks ago. Newly released dash cam and body cam footage takes us to the heart of the devastation just moments after that plane fell from the sky. If you haven't already, can you give the FAA a 10? It's a scene that no first responder ever wants to see. This dash cam footage shows an Ohio State trooper racing to the scene of a small plane crash at the Youngstown Air Reserve Station in Trumbull County. By the time he arrived, charred remains and debris are all that was left of the small plane that carried three lives. By the look of it, he just went straight nosedive into, into the ground. The crash happened just after 7 p.m. on July 19th. Initial reports indicate that the fixed-wing multi-engine aircraft experienced a suspected mechanical failure and was attempting to make an emergency landing when it crashed. Sadly, the pilot, 54-year-old Jadak Kawam, and his two passengers, 45-year-old Martine Arsenault and 8-year-old Daphne Kawam, all from Quebec, Canada, were killed. And this isn't the first fatal plane crash in Trumbull County. In October of 2022, an 82-year-old man was critically injured when his single-engine aircraft crashed in Southington Township. And back in June of 2011, a passenger was killed in a small plane crash in Farmdale. Well, the NTSB is still investigating the cause of this latest tragedy. We will continue to follow this story closely. As soon as we learn more, so will you. For now, I'm Gabby Hart, 19 News.